This is Virgil Ortiz and you're watching Read BBS. Read BBS. BBS. Virgil Ortiz improves to 21 and 0. 21 KOs. With a first round KO of Thomas Dulorme. To the surprise of no one. In fact, uh, the suspense was removed from the Ortiz Dulorme fight when the motherfucking uh, fight was announced. Before the ink dried on the contract, the suspense was removed from this one. Uh, the suspense was removed from this one about two and a half to three years ago when Jerron Boots Ennis also disposed of Delorme in the first fucking round. The suspense for Ortiz versus Delorme was removed earlier this week when uh, there was a press conference announcing Tim Zhu, Tim Zhu will be facing the very same Virgil Ortiz on uh, Turkey, Turkey a la Sheik. His Excellency Turkey Alal Sheik, his first American card, which will be held August 3rd, headlined by Terrence Bud Crawford and Israel Madrimov fighting at 154. On that undercard, we got Tim Zhu against Virgil Ortiz. That was announced earlier this week, like I said. So, you couldn't have watched the Delorme fight, even if you knew nothing about him, just knowing, well, wait a minute, this guy Ortiz, he's stepping in the ring and you're telling me. He's got another fight already signed in August. Like, damn, so y'all just you ain't giving this man no chance, huh? Nope. No chance at all. Uh, Delorme used to be a tough guy, but he needs to he needs to no longer be licensed to compete in boxing. Like, you know, fortunately, it was just a body shot. It was a nice, crisp body shot, left hook that Burge caught him with behind the elbow. And yeah, it looked like my man got stabbed. He was laying on the canvas, writhing in pain and shit. It's time for, for uh, Delorme to hang him up, man. Go do something else. Work in a call center, be a trainer. I don't know. But not competing in the ring. This was on the undercard of Jose Ramirez's homecoming and his disowned Golden Boy Promotions debut against Rancis Bartholomew. And Ramirez had a tougher than expected time. He got hurt by a few, a handful of uh, South Paul uh, crosses from uh, Bartholomew. He got hurt virtually every time Bartholomew landed flush. But Bartholomew, he's a professional spoiler. And this time he spoiled himself. He uh, acted like he was being, he would be Dr. Point for every time he landed a left-handed punch. So he stopped throwing him and he would just shell up taking shots to the body and to the arms and gloves and shit and he lost a decision but uh he was he was a tougher threat he was a tougher challenge for Ramirez than he was intended to be for Ramirez's homecoming and his disown and golden boy debut but yeah man just wanted to speak on the fact that Verge and Tim Zoo is now official not that there was any questions or doubts about that when asked if he was ready uh, Verge said, I don't care if I'm not ready. He, he wants that smoke. And it's a fair question because you, he's fought two fights, two back-to-back first-round KOs, Dulor made tonight, and uh, Frederick Lawson earlier this year. So in two fights, Verge has spent like right at five fucking minutes in the ring. Not even two, not even two full rounds. So, uh, you know, there's the threat of ring rust, but the cure to ring rust Cure the ring rust is one shot, one punch, punching power, which Virgil Ortiz has, which will be an interesting mix when him and the aggressive Tim Zhu finally uh, finally get it on. This is a very ambitious move for both men. Zhu, of course, coming off of the, the shocking loss, not shocking because of Fundura's performance, but because of the amount of blood that was lost in that fight from Zoo. Coming off of that, you have to wonder, like, shit, okay, the Fundura fight was, like, at the tail end of March, like, March 30th or something like that, or March 23rd. It was somewhere around that time, late March. And that cut was severe, like, as bad of a cut, as much blood as you could ever hope or want to see in any uh, com- 
competitive event, boxing, MMA, whatever. You ain't going to see too much more blood than that. But my point is, the healing of said cut, of the aforementioned cut. So you telling me March, April, May, June, July, August, you telling me in five motherfucking months that cut is not only healed, but Tim Zhu will have sparred and done all of that in preparation for this fight with no ill effects. Seems a bit risky, just as it seemed a bit risky to travel from Australia to America and not have a credible cut man uh, in your corner. Just as it was risky to accept a six foot six opponent in Bandura as a replacement opponent for Keith Once Upon a Time. I love the ambition of Tim Zoo, but that ambition has already led to a loss that he really shouldn't even have on his record. And now he's uh, following that up. Very next fight out the gate from the bloodletting against Fondura. Now you fight Virgil Ortiz. Thousand percent KO ratio. But I'm here, I'm here for all of it, man. So if Zoo loses, he's probably already like, I don't want to say he's done, but back to back losses against ranked 154 pounders like where does he go from there it makes you wonder man we'll uh as the fight gets closer and approaches we'll do videos on this one again of course i gotta do a bud madrimal video and there's other fights on that undercard uh we got big baby against andy ruiz we got pitbull Cruz against rayo valenzuela so yeah that's gonna be a good ass card turkey a la chic bringing it to america finally but yeah, Zoo, Zoo and uh, Verge, that's probably the most intriguing bout on that card. And thankfully, thank the Lord, we got past this Delorme scare, goddammit. So this shit wasn't spoiled. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burt Sugar, Bachelor's of Boxing Studies. Television, Fred Sanford of the Fisticoffs. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.